What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV here. Another day, another rumour. Uh, this is your transfer window update with a couple of updates for you. It's not going to be a very long video. Um, just two updates to bring to you. First of all, we're going to talk about Wilfred Zaha. Um, there's been a lot of talk on social media and a lot of talk in the press about Wilfred Zaha and Tottenham and Arsenal and a few other options as well. Um, a lot of Tottenham fans getting excited on social media because He's appointed the new agent of Pini Zahavi, who's also Jose Mourinho's agent, as it goes, um, who brokered the deal for Jose Mourinho to come to Tottenham. And it's believed, it's rumoured in the press that he's really pushing hard for the move to Tottenham, uh, well, Pini Zahavi is anyway. And there's also rumours that Wilfred Zaha really wants to push for the deal as well and does want to uh, kind of leave Palace as soon as possible for one of the big six, as it were. Um, another reason why Tottenham fans were getting excited is that there was a picture of Wilfred Zaha when he was a kid wearing a Tottenham shirt and a lot of Tottenham fans are quote tweeting it saying alright come home now Wilfred blah 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 but I just want to hold the horses that on that for a second just because there was literally a video from last summer of him stating that he's an Arsenal fan, well, he was an Arsenal fan as a kid and he's still an Arsenal fan now and I'll play that for you right now team you supported as a kid? Arsenal, still do. So in that case it does look like Wilfred Zaha is an Arsenal fan but look it doesn't matter about that. The guy is pure quality let's be honest but having said that it's not a key area that we need to strengthen in ASAP. It's not an urgent um, position like the centre midfield or the centre back or the full back area so if it was up to me I'd probably put if we were to spend that kind of money on a player because Palace are going to are going to want 80, 70, 80 million for sure for him. So if we are going to spend that money, I'd rather spend it on a top, top centre back or a CDM or something like that. So for me, I, I don't really look. Obviously, I'll take Zaha and I think he's a brilliant player, but I just don't think we need him urgently. And I don't think that's what we should be concentrating on. So let's just move away from that for a second. And for the second rumour and talks I'm going to bring to you is about Adrian Rabio. So Adrian Rabio joined uh, Juventus in the summer on a Bosman on a free transfer. And since joining Juve, he hasn't really pulled up strings there. He's played 10 games all season pretty much. And he's just really out of favour at Juve. Um, it is to be rumoured that he's looking for a move away. Uh, Juventus apparently are happy to sell but only happy to sell once they bring in a replacement so it could be a starter if Juve do look for a replacement or if you see Juve signing a centre mid or to be rumoured to be signing a centre mid it could be um, an option to be honest and I think Rabiot is a brilliant player his, his career is sort of slightly stagnated since joining Juve and I really think he needs to be at a team where he's playing week in week out because that He's a brilliant player and he showed that at Paris Saint-Germain. So would I be for signing Adrian Rabot? Of course I would. And how much would he cost? I don't know how much he would cost, but, but I think it would be cheaper than other options just because, you know, they signed him for a free in the summer um, and they wouldn't be losing out on too much uh, to get rid of him for 30, 40 million. And I think that would be a brilliant signing. Uh, but there you have it. That are the two rumours of the day. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you want Wilfred Zaha, if you want Adrian Rabiot. What positions do you think are urgent for us to sign right now? Do you think Wilfred Zaha should be a priority or not? Let me know in the comment section below. Like, subscribe and comment. And as always, come on you Spurs.